run through a few ideas for making seaweed for maybe the back of your diorama or you could have it hanging and the fish can be swimming through it. Um, various ideas, maybe you've got some sheer fabric, I don't know if you collect fabric anywhere. I'll see how much I've got of this and maybe I will pop some in your next activity pack. So this is called organza, it's got a lovely metallic sheen to it. So you could do fabrics. Um, I don't know if you have any of your caddies for food. Um, I've just cut off a little strip of the green plastic and tied knots in this. We want to get a variety of shapes and textures. So that's that one, just tying knots in a little bit of plastic. Another thing with plastic is you can manipulate it by pulling it. So I think this came from Kitchen Roll. It did have the green bit on, so I've done a piece here. Basically, I've just pulled it apart. I've pinched it and pulled it. Pinch and pull. And you get it warping and distorting. Oops. Yes, you have to be careful at your pulling strength. You might pull a bit off. So there you go. You've got, it's like kelp. So that's a broad-leaved seaweed. As I say, you can do it in various colours. Test a little bit first because some of it is quite thin and you'll pull straight through it. We talked about bubble wrap, just thin strips of bubble wrap. Um, and then a little bit of paint over the top. If you've got emulsion paint, that's much better. It will stick to the plastic and then you could do a watercolour again. So you've got thin, thick, straight, wobbly. And then we've got all the nettings. Remember I said save your nettings. So you would just want to cut your bag, top and bottom. You could have thin strips, thick strips. This was garlic, onions and oranges. And layered together, you get these wonderful different plays of colour. So building up lots of layers. Now this one is, I found some fabric at the centre. I think it was probably used for the hangings. So I cut a strip longer than I needed because I want to gather it up. And this is quite nice. You just pull it. You want to pick. Oh, I say it's easy. You could get a pin. And start fraying it, fray the edge, start pulling away two or three threads at a time and work it top and bottom. And then when you've done probably seven or eight, you get this lovely fringed effect. And then what I've done is I've done a little gathering stitch up the middle. Again, what I could do is I could prepare the strips for you, even put a running stitch in, and then you can just fray them. But that gives lovely, that's a really nice texture, and when you hang it, it's going to dangle well. So that's fabrics. Um, this little one is milk bottle tops. So you want to get your milk bottle, sharp scissors, <clears throat> and you want to take the thread off. So be careful, you might be able to use the strip round the outside, maybe if we collected enough of them we could use them as a little um, collection and put them into one of our volcano -y salt oak stands. So you could imagine several of those together. So simply cut it in half and then on the curved side you want to cut a little V into it. Not, not all the way through, something like that. A little V, and then you want to get your wool, and you want to tie a knot round it. Maybe you can get someone to hold the plastic for you. It's a bit fiddly. And then you just tie it in place. Got it in the wrong direction, you could put them in different directions, and then you can so that hangs well. I found a bit of gardening wire, so I just made some little loops. Again, it's it's all the different textures, all the different surfaces. 
that one works well and finally is the wool braid I will do a separate video of this because um, I think I'm going to have to film it across a room or something so bear with me on that one or you could look up on YouTube um, it's woolen braids you might get a lot of hairdressing ideas um, but um, if I find something I'll pop it in the next activity pack um, and then you can find your way there so there we go guys all these different materials look I've even just got threads you could hang just threads lots of different ideas um, I think we're nearly getting to the end now I think we're getting to the point where we can start assembling I think we've got one more request and that was jellyfish so have a look through your box root around in the sewing box maybe you've got a bit of wool let me know if there's bits that you want I think what I'll do in the next activity pack is I'll put in a little questionnaire and it will be a tick box so when you get your next pack you can go through the list and tick what you would like so that when you get your third pack we can be very specific in what you would like so I will start compiling a list and when you get your next pack um, you can put in requests okay that's it for now enjoy and I look forward to seeing your results bye for now